and Ella and the Moon pattern DIY crisscross crochet top. Um, let's make this top. Put the sleeves up, sleeves down. Millimeter H8. And this is impeccable yarns. It's acrylic gonna be hot in it you will need scissors at some point and you will need a embroidery needle um, and you will need some let me find what I did with them some stitch markers at some point later in the video you can also use just yarn if you don't have stitch markers they're not it's not necessary to buy extra stuff if you're making for other people, you will need a tape measure to measure out how far around the uh, lower rib cage you need this to be. So let's get started. I like to wear this over a slip dress. You can wear it with jeans as well. Slip it. knot. You're gonna be doing uh, US terminology. You're gonna be doing some single crochets to begin with. Chain out as many that can fit around your lower rib cage with about two inches of wiggle room, okay? So, we'll chain this out real quick. So chain it out and then we'll be right back. And I'm gonna measure, make sure it goes around my upper rib cage with two inches to spare. See, we're almost there. Boop. If you did the DIY Rococo crochet crop top sweater, uh, then you're gonna be doing the, the hem just the same as that. This is gonna be an easy pattern to do as you just veg out watching whatever, or listening to your podcast like I do. So, okay, a little bit more. This yarn is very soft, but it is also very warm, so I won't be able to wear this very often because I will break out into an off sweat. Obviously, you can um, make it with a different yarn with the same weight. I'll put the bulky, I'll put the weight in there. I think it's a four. Medium weight worsted, I believe, but I'll check. So it's impeccable yarns. Got it at Michael's. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna connect. Let me check my waist first. Make sure to link, make sure you don't get it all twisted. So this bumpy back is gonna be facing inward, inside. So let me get it all lined up. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna connect it. The bumpy back is inside, the flat part is outside. So I'm gonna go through, not the little, slip knot part but the next stitch and you need to have an even number of stitches by the way so connecting because we're going to be working in around uh -oh, lost it off the loop so connected now this is where it get tri gets tricky as you work make sure that the bumpy part like this is in the inside and this is the outside chain three after you've connected slip stitch to connect three. Now, yarn over. We're going to be doing, hold on, don't yarn over. We're doing single crochet. Sorry. You're going to skip the first stitch and go into the next one. Okay. Single crochet. Skip. Next. Skip. I mean, not. so skip the first stitch and then you're going to go into every stitch around. Sorry about that. So here we go. I'm showing you the inside right now. So that's the inside. And then I'll show you the outside. Okay. And there's the outside. Outside, inside. Every stitch all the way around, single crochet, till we get back to the beginning. And we'll meet you there. Alright, so we're almost back at the front. I got one more stitch. 
at the beginning, and then we're gonna slip stitch. See, here's the chain three to the top of the chain three. Okay, and pull that little tail a little bit. Now chain three, again. We're joined in around, hopefully you haven't twisted it. And now what we're gonna do is add one more chain. So chain four, we're going to skip this stitch, the next one, and we are going to skip another one. So we're gonna skip two. One, two, three, yarn over. The previous ones are now. Chain one, two, three, and then you're going to skip three. So here's the one we have the chain in. One, two, three, double crochet, yarn over, double crochet. U.S. terms, do it in that third chain that you skip from, what's from this one, and then go back behind that one and do another double crochet. We crisscrossed, see? Now chain three, two, three, skip three. So here's where we are. We're gonna skip three, one, two, three, yarn over, double crochet into that third one that we skipped from the single crochet from the previous round, which is our hem basically. Double crochet, US terminology, and then go behind it. So we're kind of Xing it. So it's twisted. Chain three. Count three from this one. One, two, three. Double crochet. Go behind.
So now, let's show you how many rows I've done. So there's foundation, chain, stitch, single crochet row, and then when we start here, it's like goes from here. This will be one row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> so ten. Got just a little bit left. I think I'm gonna go and do twelve rows, and then we'll do the arms and the little cups for this cold shoulder. But works up pretty quickly once you get the single crochet foundation down. The rest is pretty simple. Um, I think it takes about two and a half hours.
right, so we, now we have our two straps that'll hold the top on. And now we're gonna do the little cold shoulder cuffs that are gonna go on our arms. You're not gonna need measuring tape. You're gonna need to measure around your bicep and measure snugly. Um, so once you have that measurement, go down one inch. So if it's 30, make it 29 inches. If it's like 15 centimeters, make it 14 centimeters. That's how long your chain will be. So make sure that when you're about to chain, you're gonna see me chaining now. <clears throat> You need to make the chain one inch less than what your measurement is so that it fits snugly around your bicep. So I have it chained out to my measurement for my bicep with less one inch. And then I'm gonna slip stitch to join. And remember, just like in the beginning, I had the bumpy part inside so it doesn't get twisted. You don't wanna be working this and then realize that your whole thing is twisted and you'll have to start all over again. A little crochet in every stitch around, just like at the very beginning. And then we're going to start our pattern. slip stitch to join at top of chain three and then you'll chain three again and then you're gonna start the pattern that we did for the bodice of the top so chain three skip two double crochet in third chain and then go back and double crochet in the second chain we're gonna do this for the remainder of the sleeve you can do as many rows as you would like to it's just gonna repeat from this particular row nothing changes whatsoever once you're done, once you slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the end, then you'll cut so and then tie in your loose end, and then we will connect like the cuff as long as you want to the, the inner to armpit. Um, and then you'll see how I connect in a little bit. So it is skip two and then double crochet in the third chain and then go back behind that third one and double crochet in the chain two that you skipped and then chain three and repeat all the way around just like your bodice.
feel free to skip ahead, pressing on your YouTube button and skipping ahead. I just try to show as much as possible of it, even though it's a lot of repetition, but skip ahead to the next parts if you need. All right, it's kind of hard to see this part, I'm sorry. So I finished like five rows for the little cuff, arm cuffs. And now I'm going to slip stitch and attach it to the bodice. So after I slip stitch it to the bodice, I chain two and then I do um, single crochets uh, between the bodice part and the new little cuff sleeves to attach. I just go through every single little stitch there and then through like the little grid uh, about 10 to 12 times to attach it as you can see it's very simple you can also do just basic slip stitch through but for some reason i decided to do single crochets i don't know why there was really no rhyme or reason it's probably better if you do a slip stitch so that you won't have that little ridge um, in the inside of where it goes under your armpit so and then i pull through tie it off and uh, i pull in the tail with a little crochet hook and nip the little part that's hanging out just like you would with anything so that there you have it and then i repeat it on the other side uh except for i didn't have any hardly any green left so i did two rows of green and two rows of pink and then attached it so there you have it i hope you make one you can make it as long as you'd like or as wide as you like this is kind of a loose uh wider than my body it's like a slouchy version so you can wear it over a t-shirt or whatever if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching.